Hello once again. Um, what we're going to talk about is, um, you know, it's 2016, and um, you know, for celebrity-wise, it's been quite tragic. Um, I mean, we're only in April, and so many celebrities have passed away. You know. Which is a shame, you know, these celebrities that have passed away are a big part of my childhood, my growing up, when I was growing up. Um, you know, people probably my age will probably feel the same. We have lost so many this year, so far. I think in the space of four months, we've lost quite a few. I think, yes, we lose maybe two or three, maybe a year but so far we must have lost about 10 or something like that I've lost fucking count of how many we lost of the legends um, you know in music in the music industry and the acting the entertainment the television we've lost so many many greats and what does the future hold for entertainment especially music what I've heard, none. But, you know, I suppose everyone's going to differ from that because we're there's so many different generations. They're probably the younger generation going to think, well, the music of today is great. Or oh, I can understand because obviously my era of music was the 90s, the early 90s. Um, to me that was great um, till the late night years it was shit music went downhill um, it's shit now um, I can't say is there any talent of today that you're going to remember in five years time is Justin Bieber going to be remembered in five years time when I don't know when he's career goes downhill well it's already gone downhill it went downhill when it started um, I don't know all these new I've never heard of fucking hell little mix who the fuck are they um, so you know it's, I'm just hearing of these new groups because I work and I've worked with sort of like people in their 20s so obviously they're going to listen to um the newer stuff and I'm hearing this and well who the fuck are these people chain smokers who the fuck are they god I've this awful music fucking crap you know everyone's as I say it's a generation thing no I'd say music as to me all it's about music all it's about now if you're good looking you can join a band it doesn't matter if you've got talent at least back in the day it doesn't matter what you look like as long as you had talent but <coughs> it just says it just shows shows that looks is what it's all about these days it's a stupid thing really um, yeah I'm going off at a tangent already am I um, yeah, but, you know, it's like a big part of my childhood, part of my past is disappearing. You know, with all these legends, all the great celebrities that we all grew up with, starting to pass away, especially in this year. It's, you know, it's pretty sad. You know, we're only in April. How many more are going to go? You know, there were so many great people we all grew up with entertained us listen to their music throughout the 80s and the 90s it's a shame big shame um, and this is the future is bollocks um, as I say I don't watch a lot of telly these days I find it crap there's so many restrictions what you can do what you can't do uh, everything's part you've got to be political correctness these days 
Well, I'm fucking well not. Fuck off if you think I'm going to be political correctness. Politically correct? Bollocks. I don't believe in it. I've said that enough times in many previous videos. I don't believe in that crap. Yeah. It's... What? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. <laughs> yes, I know a few drinks. But, I don't know. It's just... Very sad that, you know... Even Paul Daniels. You know. That's magic. Well, that's magic. I can't do it. <laughs> Can't do that accent, there, but you know we grew up with him, showing all his magic tricks and Debbie McGee. <laughs> I think she was twenty years younger than him, but it's not the point. But you know, it doesn't matter. Age difference doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, as long as you're both adults at the end of the day, it doesn't matter about age difference. As long as it ain't fucking stupid, like um, if you're in your forties and you're in someone else's sixteen, what's the fucking point in that? That's just wrong. You know what is the point in that? Now, you know I've got to be careful myself. I mean, I can't go out with women too young in my. I mean, fuck you know, I fucking I'm in my forties. I I've got to be careful. You know, what fucking 20 year old is going to be interested in a 40 year old unless they've got fucking tons of money? <laughs> anyway, let's not talk about that. Um, I'm not going to get into fucking fucking relationships and all that bollocks all over again. I've done that on previous videos. I'm not going to talk about it again. Really, because I'm happy being single. Yeah, anyway, fuck it. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just a. Uh, who's going to be next? <coughs> well, not burping. <laughs> who's going to be next? You know. I mean, I, I remember so many celebrities when I was growing up. Oh, I hope it's Rolf Farris. You know, because he fucking disappointed. I did not realise at the at the time. You did not realise he was a fucking paedophile or child molester or whatever you know you didn't realise he, he was there to he was entertaining us we didn't care we we did not know we did obviously didn't care because we didn't know obviously we're too young to know about all these fucking ped paedophilia and all that shit we didn't I didn't know anything about him when I was a fucking kid um, you know Roel Farris he was there you know drawing these cartoons Roel Farris cartoons <laughs> guess what it is yeah. it's a crap oh no it's a child fucking oh fuck off you know um, Jimmy Savile was another one Jimmy Savile back in the day oh, we none of us knew it all came out when he fucking died and he was a fucking BBC bummer <laughs> um Slept with, oh, I don't know what he did, it was fucking creepy, wasn't it? Fucking, you, you, you just didn't know when he was fucking young, you just did not know um, what he was really like. Fucking sick bastard. You know, he got away with it lightly, he died when he did, and you know, when he died, it all came out. Why didn't it all came out when he was alive? No, because the BBC are fucking cunts covered everything up you know I, 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 back in the day I liked the BBC don't get me wrong um, we had great comedies um, you know I like a good comedy shit now what comedy is there now it's all shit once again politically correctness no you can't do that you can't do that well I fucking can and no one's going to stop me have that fucking attitude. No. Well, we can't. Well, I can. That's why I've got a YouTube channel, so I can do what the fuck I want. Uh, great thing for YouTube. Shame you got taken over by fucking Google. 
Um, yeah, it is a big shame. Um, David Bowie, David Bowie, you know, produced some great musics, you know, musics, music, well, well, musics, he produced some good, loads of music, <laughs> um, Prince recently, Prince, okay, I wasn't a big fan of Prince, um, party like it's 1999, now that's a tune that, that I think if anyone meant, thinks of a Prince tune, it'll probably be Parting Like It's 1999. I remember that one play, that was an early 80s tune, that was, um, and they played that when it was the year 1999, and it turned to the millennium. I remember that, yeah, they played that. <laughs> um, yeah, but... It doesn't matter if he was a big fan of something, but you know, it was a part of your past. You know, you remember growing up with them, you remember the tunes. Um, but now it's just like everyone seems to, all the people, all the celebrities that I grew up with back in the 80s, you know, they're slowly, slowly dying. And it feels like it's a big part of my um, past is going now because of this. Um, all the celebrities you grew up with, big part of your past, big part of growing up, they entertained you. Um, yeah, it's a big shame, it really is a big shame. Um, what else was there? I mean, there's so been, there's been so many. I just got Victoria Wood was another one. I remember the Victoria Woods was what she's got. Oh, oh, she had her own show, and I always used to watch it when I was younger. It's, it's a shame, you know. There are so many others. I mean, you can look at not just recent ones that passed away. You know, Ronnie Corbett was another one just passed away. Ronnie Corbett. You know, I remember the two Ronnies used to. Something else I used, I was growing up with, you know. Dad used to watch it on the telly. I was a kid, used to watch it. Um, yeah, sorry, I've got the. Um, yeah, sorry. I just re I watched that. I've got the DVD box set of Sorry. I'm talking about Ronnie Corbett. Um, yeah, there's another one. It's a shame. Terry Wogan. <laughs> the old Wogan show. Welcome to Wogan. Yeah, we got a celebrity today. Um, number one. Oh, Wogan. It's a shame. Oh, Wogan's passed away. I thought we'd go on forever, oh, Wogan. Oh, Wogan. Welcome to the Wogan show. Was, when, when he was away, he got someone else to cover his show for him. Like, I don't know. Frank Bruno, what about the Wogan show? You know what it means, how are you? Ignore that, that's just terrible. Terrible. But yeah, oh Wogan. Oh Wogan. Fuck it hell. It's a shame, innit? It? It's such a shame. Um, Lemmy from Motorhead. I remember him from. Remember the f when I was watching The Young Ones? He was on an. Uh, Motorhead was in an episode. Um, I think it was Bambi. The episode was Bambi, and they went run to the train station. It was playing Motorhead. Ace of Spades. Fucking hell! It's just a shame. Just a shame. All these great people. All these great, great people that entertained you when you were growing up, and they're just finally going now. Um. Oh, it's the Queen's 90th birthday, isn't it? It's not I honestly give a fuck. I bet there'll be uproar when she passes away. Oh, the Queen! Oh, the Queen's died! Oh, no! Really? Who's going to be fucking king? Do I honestly care? No, I don't fucking care. Cause they ain't done fuck all for us. I'm sorry, they, I don't give a fuck about the monarchy. 
I don't. I have never been a royalist. What have they done for us? Oh, they're part of the country. No, they're fucking. They're German. They're German. <laughs> Nothing. I'm not like. I ain't got anything against Germans, but you know. I don't care about the fucking royal family. Who gives a fuck? What have they done for us? Nothing. Oh no, give a fucking Queen's, a queen speech. I don't fucking watch that crap. Oh, she's going along on a fucking horse. Who cares? Who gives a flying fuck about the monarchy? I don't. I never have done, never interested me. You know, oh yeah, but it's a part of Britain. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm English. Yes. Oh, I waved the St George's flag before I waved the fucking Union Jack. Or is it called the Union Flag now? I don't give a fuck. I will call it the Union Jack because that's what I brought up I was brought up to call it not the Union Flag like everyone has to call it these days fuck that I'll call it the Union Jack and I will continue calling it the Union Jack if you like it or not um no but I'll wave the St George's no that's, that looked a bit different no 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 I waved waved the St George's flag that's the royal family <coughs> and that's just me. Um, <laughs> um, I am waffling on a bit, aren't I? Um, yeah, but it's, you know, but it, 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 it is sad that we're losing all these celebrities now. Well, you know, big part, big part of my past is disappearing because of this now. You know, all this, all the entertainment. You know, blankety blank. With Terry Wogan, I remember Terry Wogan doing blankety blank before Les Dawson. He, and Les Dawson was a legend. He's a great. He was a great person. Uh, when he done blanked about, he, he was just so funny on that. You know, he died, passed away a few years ago, quite a long time ago. But he was a great entertainer. I think there was a lot. There was a lot of great entertainers back in the day, and they sadly passed away. Um. I, 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 could, I could sit here all night naming great entertainers from the past. But I'm not going to because we all know, you know, people, you know, back in the day, you know, F, you know, as old as me, brought up, you know, was brought up in the 80s. Born in the 70s. Grew up in the 80s and got pissed in the 90s. <laughs> um, if you was one of those people, Dennis Norton, is he still alive? Dennis Norton, if, if you're one of those people that makes a cock up on the fucking telly, you know, Dennis Norton, I think he's still alive. Um, yeah, you know, if you're one of those people. As old as me, remembers growing up, then all these great people that used to entertain you. Now, sadly, passing away, even whatever industry it was the music or entertainment, whatever. Um, entertainment, all entertainment in it, or um, television, that's what I should say television, television, movies, films, whatever. All these greats that used to entertain you back in the day, and sadly now they've passed away. You know, they're great people, you know, except for the fucking paedophile, um, rapist, child molester fucking bastards. You know, you, you fought back in the day with great people because they entertained you, and you realise they grew up, hang on, who are these fucking weirdos? Who are these fucking arseholes? Fucking... You know, we was kids at the time. We was all kids when these, when all this shit was happening back in the 1970s, 80s, early 80s, when it was supposed to be happening. Was it 
just the seventies. I don't know. Um, it doesn't matter, but it, to us, we didn't know this. We was all naive at the time. We was too young. We didn't know any of this shit. Um, but you know, these are people that entertained us, and they were sick, fucking bastards, like Ralph Harris, Jamie, Jimmy Savile. <coughs> And fucking, I think there's a DJ. Um, who's that one? No, who's that one? I done fucking. It? It's the knockout. Wanna fucking t- laugh? <laughs> who's that fucking can? The fucking done. It's the knockout. Um, I used to like it's the knockout. And you know, that bastard's betrayed me because he's a fucking sick bastard. Fucking entertainers. Fucking one of these child molesters. Fucking bastard. Fucking. Ugh. Sick and a fucking oh, I really don't know what goes on with people. I really fucking don't. Really don't fucking know. You know how the fuck can you do that? That's just disgusting. Hmm. Yeah, it's a shame. You know, have your have your comments or do a VR, whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah, I honestly think it's an interesting um, topic I brought up here. Um, you know, it's a, it is a big shame that they're all passed away now. But we all got to die sometime, I guess. But a lot of these are dying before their time. They are. I mean, I mean what I've seen, um, it's in the brackets of the 50s and the 60s. See, they're going way before their time. Which is a pity. Which it really is a shame. Anyway, I'm going to end this video now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.